Kevin Matthews was an Iraq War veteran who nearly lost his home after a car accident left him unable to pay his mortgage. He says this hearing was a step in the right direction. I think up to this point that the people have not been represented. I think today finally with this platform that has actually been able to get to the point where the people actually be taken into consideration, not the people that hold the money, but the people that they serve to protect and go in office for. Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings brought Congress to Baltimore to better understand the frustrations homeowners face when it comes to foreclosure. What we're trying to do is keep people in their houses. Yes, we're going through an economic storm, but as I say to my constituents, the question is, is how do we get them through, through the storm so that when the storm is over, they still have their house. In 2010, there were nearly 30,000 foreclosure filings in the state of Maryland. Prince George's County is among the hardest hit in Maryland's foreclosure crisis. Last year, the county handled almost 12,000 foreclosure applications. Lawmakers blame the high number of foreclosures in the state on banks robo-signing foreclosure documents without reviewing them. And, they say, paperwork often got lost. Governor O'Malley says Maryland's foreclosure rates are trending down. And people, not money, need to take priority. It's a lot better to work out a modification than it is to go through the expensive process of throwing a family out on the street and having that home linger on the market for years. Next on the congressional foreclosure hot seat, the banking industry and other mortgage providers. Lawmakers say they want to find out why an inspector general has called their performance abysmal. In Baltimore, Robin McCullough, CNS-TV.